In 2012, uh, in an article in Proceedings, uh, you said, future conflicts will be won in the arena of uh, electromagnetic spectrum and cyberspace. We, much, we must merge then master those realms. Now, first of all, I want to thank you for your visit to, to Crane, uh, where we do a lot of this stuff. And I know it's not necessarily in the highest profile in the Navy because it's not on the coast. But you met uh, some of the 3,000 engineers, scientists, and technicians out there, and I very much thank you for doing that. General Amos, uh, 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 Secretary Mabus has been there also, and it would be a great trifecta for us uh, if you would, uh, pay, if I could host you as a, on a visit out there. I would ask you to uh, talk to Admiral Greener in terms of the value of that, because we do a lot of things there. Uh, for the Marines uh, across a range of functions, and it would be a great honor for you if, it, on a, say, on a trip somewhere, you could make a stop at that point. So, but uh, Admiral Greener, just in the interest of time, if you could just comment a little bit about this article and this um, future warfare uh, preparation that we need to address, uh, and, and give me your thoughts on that for the for the record. Well, uh, we, what I've found is that a lot of potential adversaries and really a lot of technology today is in the electromagnetic spectrum. And what I mean is people detecting what we emit in that entire spectrum. We're using it for everything today, Wi-Fi, cell phones, you name it. So what do we, how do we, what do we know about it? What do we know our ships and airplanes and all of our units? What is our electromagnetic spectrum uh, signature we didn't know? So number one, we got to get our electromagnetic hygiene right. How much energy are we putting out in what frequency? Uh, because that we, in the Cold War, we call that emission control, and we need to get back to that. Number two, then we've got to look at our radar sonars and all of those things, why are we using the frequency we use, uh, and then reduce the number of antenna we have and make them more flexible and in frequency hop so we can control our own. Then number three, our detection, how do we use it? Uh, that is, the things that we use to detect electromagnetic uh, things in the ma electromagnetic spectrum. And then lastly, let's know it, use it, understand it, control it, and then we can take cyber to a whole new level because it's uh, another domain that we can enter with our cyber capabilities. Thank you. Uh, thanks to the three of you for all your years of service. Uh, I think it's extraordinary what you've provided the nation, and I'm very much appreciated.